just amazing to see all of you all out here in support of my baby. Another tragic story tonight, a Vietnam veteran who died following an attempted carjacking, remembered during an emotional vigil. WGN's Gaynor Hall is joining us now from Hyde Park with more on this story. Gaynor. Yeah, Ray and Micah, tonight the community came together to celebrate Keith Cooper's life, his love, and his service. With a soundtrack of drums and a spirit of unity, a crowd gathered tonight to honor Keith Cooper, forming a circle around his favorite things. We've been affected by Chicago violence in some way, right? Yes. And people always say, oh, well, that's Chicago. No, I'm sorry. This yeah. is Chicago. Cooper would have turned 74 years old next week. His family said he loved being a father and grandfather. He loved jazz music and sci-fi and served as a Marine, surviving two tours in Vietnam. And this should never have happened to a person that served no. this nation. Two teenagers are now charged in the case. A judge denied bail for 18-year-old Frank Harris, who's charged with first-degree murder and attempted aggravated vehicular hijacking. Prosecutors revealing new details in bond court today, Wednesday afternoon. Cooper parked his SUV in the Kimbark Plaza in Hyde Park and was heading towards CVS when prosecutors say the 17-year-old suspect snatched the car keys from Cooper's hand. Cooper called out for help and demanded his keys back and prosecutors say Harris punched him in the head. The teens were not able to get into the vehicle and they ran. Two minutes later, Cooper collapsed. Witnesses stayed with him and an off-duty paramedic jumped in to help, but Cooper died at the hospital. His family says he suffered a heart attack. University of Chicago police officers took the teenagers into custody a half mile away after someone spotted them, removing layers of clothing in a synagogue courtyard. Harris was on probation for a juvenile carjacking case, and his attorney says he was shot in the foot about a month ago. As a mom, that was hard to hear these young people, because I have a 17-year-old myself who's turning 18 into hear these kids, to hear that young man's voice was, it was hard, but he has to face the consequences because this is not a first time for him. Cooper's daughter, Kanika Carlton, says she is standing on the strength of her dad and the community he loved. People just helped that entire day until now, and it's just, this is just amazing to see. And prosecutors say there are surveillance videos of the attack. The 17-year-old boy, who's also charged in the case, is due in bond court tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live tonight from Hyde Park, Gaynor Hall, WGN News. Thank you, Gaynor.